morning everyone welcome back to whiskey gulch i'm kenny hall it's been a minute um haven't been out in the shop since spring and uh it's september now fairly early september um, having just a short break from painting houses so i thought i would come out here i got a little bit of um you know relaxation and, and some stress relief from the you know hectic scheduling and everything for painting so i thought i would come out i got some um i call it lace um a lot of people call it tri-flow people call it mahogany you can call it whatever you want i don't know but i got it from my buddy travis and if you uh if you want to go on a good site on facebook um uh, rock connection and lithic supplies is a is a good group to um, get on and i have not posted anything on there for a minute like i said i've been painting all all summer and uh what i'm going to do i've already i've already made a blank out of it i'm going to go ahead and skin it and i'm a little rusty i did three little uh, warm-up blades prior to turning on the camera um, but we'll see we'll see what happens here how it goes hopefully it turns out really nice I'm going to do the first side I don't know how the sound comes across when you hear it, uh, but I can hear when a flake does not go where I want it to go. Like that one, that one's definitely short. The only thing that I can do is pick off the platform Hit it with the braiding stone a little bit more. And then see if I can't come really close to it. To, I don't know if you can see that. I'll move up a little bit closer. So the flake only went out there about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to have to go pretty close to it to pick up that whole surface there and get that off. So... This may or may not work. So it's gonna end up being a wider flake if it happens. This, this may be a little bit shallower uh, material or I don't think it's picked up off the surface. I don't see any sand in it where it rolled down the hill when it was melting or uh, molten. Um, sometimes the mahogany part will be a little bit softer and then it doesn't want to walk in. And the other possibility, which is very likely, and I already stated it, is, is I haven't done much of this for a couple of months. I know, in fact, I haven't done any for a couple of months. And so it could be operator error. It's not quite like riding a bicycle. At least 
least not for me because I do forget some of the things that I do, you know, which muscles to tense up, how to, you know, hold the blade, twist the blade. What am I doing with my flaker that I don't remember? and just kind of peel off the... so that the back edge is obviously it's not ground the same as the rest of the blade with the thin platform so you know the flakes are different it's um it's a lot easier to take flakes off of a flat surface and make them go farther than it is to get them to contour and and shoot out to the middle and, and line up evenly. Um, a lot of people don't understand that. There's a lot of people out there tapping from a slab and, and believing it's the same as this. It's not. This is very difficult. Uh, it's upside down. So it's not perfect. Um, you can see there's a long one there. You can see it comes all the way over to there. There's a see this is that little trouble area that I had so that doesn't look exactly even there's a little more trouble up closer to the tip but I mean overall it's pretty good so far so I'm gonna I'm gonna set up for the second side and I'll show you that as well So if you watched all uh, any of my other videos, you know that I just reground that platform to uh, make it a consistent, even surface. And I'm trying to start on the wrong side. That's um, just a preference. I was taught to start 
at the tip and work my way back, but I prefer to start at the wide end and work narrow. Seems to be easier to decrease pressure than to increase pressure. Notice that I changed up my angle and my grip on the blade. And that's because I don't want the flakes going as far. So I just kind of nibbled off that tip where I only need to go uh, maybe about a half an inch just over. And then down to pretty much nothing. tip. I've got less thickness here to work with. And find a spot where it starts to come off. Oh, come on. There we go. Just work backwards. Really this area at the back of the blade isn't that important because it'll be you know, covered by handle that's going to go inside the handler or the whatever material that I use for the handle. This side a little bit better than the first side. So I might be getting warmed up today. just a little bit sometimes there's a little bit of platform left with this platform that I use sometimes the flaker does not take it all off 
but it's a very small amount. With some of the other platforms that I use, it it leaves platform on one side the entire length of the blade, and uh, it's a little more difficult to get off. Uh, the blade is not as sharp as doing this particular method. So I usually only use that on smaller pieces than this. So let's see. That's the first side. And that's the second side. A little bit smoother on that second side. So boy, you can just feel how sharp that is on my fingers. So I'll give you a, a quick tour. What I've got going on. Get this phone out of here. Here we go. Turn the camera around like that. So these knives have been sitting here for at least two months. This is a very old uh, deer leg. You can see it is not fossilized yet, though. That's a pretty piece of... That's what I call lace right there. Again, you can call it what you want. There's another one. Definitely tri-flow, so black, red, and clear. They need wrapped. Uh, the glue's been pretty much cleaned up. They need wrapped and stained and all that stuff. And then I got my supply of antlers from my uh, buddy back east. There's some more of them. There's some more of them. And lots of material that I'm going to be working with this year. And uh, I even picked up a couple of elk antlers. There's one and there's the other. Those brow tines will make a nice knife handle. So. Alright, well, thanks for joining me here. I'm back down here at Whiskey Gulch, man. I'll be back. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.